Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement, where entrepreneurs go from sole proprietor to CEO. In this video, I'm going to tell you why it is you must license your book. Okay, now I already told you in the last video, I'm gonna put up this, these two videos the same day because I'm a day behind, okay? So I'm, I gotta get, I gotta go in on the licensing of the book because I talked about the licensing in the other video, and you'll see it up on the side of the video towards the end. However, for those of you who are writing in about some of these things that have happened to you as you're trying to be a published author, okay, so this is an ode to all of my authorpreneurs out here, and you're saying, and I know this is true because I did uh, bump up on a, a lady who was doing this at an event that I went to a few years back, okay, and you're saying that you have paid individuals to be a part of a published body of work, okay? But there was never any type of contractual agreement that stated that you would get any type of royalties from the sales of that book. Okay, that right there. Where they do that at? What's really going on here? And see, this whole self-publishing thing has, has taken you so far away from how you're really going to create legacy wealth. Do you not know that one book, one great title, okay, is a is a whole business. I'm talking seminars, uh, events, products, the list goes on as to what really comes out of one good title. Somebody might like your book, it turns into a movie. What happens? A whole lot of other events, a whole lot of paid projects can come out of one copywritten published body of work and see you're missing that when you give these online people your intellectual property and you don't properly protect it okay now where does mr Rural want to go with this because this whole subject gets me so doggone heated i don't even know what to say okay now you're you're doing this whole self-publishing but you don't have any long-term rights because you don't have any licensing agreements attached to you just saying okay i want to put my body of work up here it's going to sell because somebody told me this is passive income meanwhile you've got to do a lot of work you got to do a lot of work if you're not willing to do a lot of work nobody knows your book is there okay you need another entity another party who has the experience to assist you to get you the licensing deal that you need to take this book all around the world and have it published in many different languages, okay? You need the opportunity to collect some royalties that will create generational wealth for you. But you're missing out, okay, because you're following this whole self-published situation it's not really going to pan out for you like that. So, Mr. Roar was about to tell you about the two directions. Two directions. Are you ready? <laughs> you have got to license your book if you really want to see some real money, real wealth. I'm talking, you want to be up there with the King James Version of the Bible, okay? Anyway, two things, two directions. Licensing in and licensing out. Okay? Can Mr. Rowe get into this? Can Mr. Rowe get into this? Okay. Let's talk about what licensing in is. Let me move forward with licensing in. All right, licensing in. So, after you have copywritten your book, you've got your copyrights and all of that good stuff, if it's a good title, a publisher is going to acquire permission to use your copy written material, okay? You say, okay, great, I have a copyright. You want to use my material. You want to give me a licensing agreement. I'm going to see to it that everything that I truly desire to obtain from this licensing agreement with you is in writing, that's what I'm going to sign, you know, on the dotted line for, all right? You and the publisher say, okay, this is great. 
you got a licensing agreement, and then what do they do? Now, this, is, this is licensing in. What do they do now? They're going to expend capital to market and sell the book. And then what happens to you? You get a royalty check quarterly. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be quarterly. Okay? But you're going to get this check. All right? Why would I not want to do that? If, if, if I know that this book is, is going all over the world, I, I have a license and agreement for it to be published in many different languages, okay? That check does what? You're a secured entrepreneur, so where's the check going? Straight into a trust account, because this is my legacy, okay? This is my empire, tax-free wealth, generationally. We're not playing any games, we're secured entrepreneurs, okay? That's licensing in, okay? So no one can come to you and say, listen, you wanna you wanna be you wanna write for me, you wanna put your your writing in my book and pay me to put your writing in my book, okay? Now you have to start asking some questions. Okay, what do I get? What type of licensing agreement are you trying to strike up with me to get my work? You know, because you're gonna sell the book, okay, and then what do I get? You know, there's other authors in the book. What are we getting? What are we getting? Okay, so you have to know. You got to start asking these questions because you're missing out. All right. Let's start talking about licensing out. Now, this is really good. This is really good. The licensing out. So for licensing out, the publisher is going to market the acquired rights to others for use in their own ventures. So in other words, you write the book, you create the material, you copyright the material, and then the publisher says, hmm, you know, this book could be used by other people for their own thing, for whatever they have going on, this material fits in with what it is that they're, they are doing, okay? So in this case, the publisher is going to want exclusive rights to which you can give contractually in the licensing agreement. They want exclusive rights to your manuscript, okay? Why this is helping you? The way this thing is about to work out, this publisher is about to produce products that generate revenue for you, okay? And at the end of the day, you collect that check. Now, I told you in the last video that the exclusive rights are way more lucrative than non-exclusive rights, okay? So you want, if you get with a good publisher and they're able to give you a great deal and let you know what the demographics are, how this thing plays out, all of these things, and you're satisfied with that, okay? You move forward with that licensing agreement, and guess what? You have not spent a dime. They are putting up the capital if you need a photo shoot, you need some book covers, whatever it is. See, they're, they're paying for all of the marketing, all of that, okay? And they're going to tell you in the licensing agreement, you know, how these costs break down. However, you're collecting that royalty check, okay? And that's a check that will continue to keep, look how long these chicken soup, chicken soup for the soul, chicken soup for the African American, chicken soup for the teenage soul, chicken soup for the mother's soul, chicken soup for your father's soul. I mean, just crazy. I mean, th 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 it's endless where you can go when you do this thing right, okay? So that's the answer to that question for all of you who have emailed saying that you can't understand why you put your book up on Amazon or why you, you got into these crazy arrangements with people and now you can't seem to sell the book. You're not creating that passive income that these people who you went to their workshops have told you that you're going to create. They didn't really complete you know, the information and let you know exactly 
you know, what your next steps were to cashing in, all right? So hopefully Miss Aurora was able to help you there. Once again, you can find me, Miss Aurora, at auroradayconsulting.com. You need some further information, you need some training as to how you're gonna go from sole proprietor to CEO, meet us over in our Facebook group, go from sole proprietor to CEO, and we'll be waiting for you there. Until next time.